because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie with ash holes. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> Let's go. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Casa Cuba. Very nice. Another Fuente joint. Also want to give a shout out to Just Rye New York for guessing yesterday's cigar, the San Andreas. Casa Cuba was actually the creation of um, Fuente Sr. Okay. Um, this is the first cigar that he blended in a very, very, very long time. And he said that he blended it in the style... Uh, that he used to blend years ago when they would import tobacco, Cuban tobacco to the U.S. For all intents and purposes, we can say that the Casa Cuba was actually his um, kind of tribute to the Cuban style of rolling when they used to import that uh, Cuban tobacco over to Florida. So yeah, it's actually one of my favorites. I love this one. I'm not getting much off the wrapper. Mmm, filler is very sweet. Nutty and woody. Mmm. Oh, that's very nice and sweet. Very, very nice. Mm. Oh man, this is uh, this is how you know it's a great smoke. Because it manages to be bitter and sweet at the same time, as well as woody. So the cigar started out very woody, very nutty. Um, I like how about halfway through, uh, I kind of evolved to a more duller, oaky flavor. A little bit, a little bit bitter as well, and that's really again. What, what's great about it is, even though bitter can be like a negative, when there's a perfect balance of bitterness to flavor, it's almost like a good PD alcohol. Uh, the bitterness brings out the, the the subtler notes in the cigar, and this cigar does it really, really, really well, and that's why I really love this fucking smoke. Now I'm having this particular Cascuba with some uh, iced coffee, and I would definitely suggest it because it does change up the flavor a little bit every time you take a sip. Very, very, very nice. Um, medium bodied smoke. The other thing that's really nice is it has really great draw. I've never really had a tight Casa Cuba and also like really, really good structure. I mean, Fuente, you know, you know, you don't got to worry about that shit. I really never had a plug Fuente. And also, what's really nice is this Casa Cuba has the same wrapper as the Opus X, which is great. Finished with the Casa Cuba, great smoke. Problem is, towards the end, it blew up on me a little bit, but that's not the cigar's fault. Uh, somebody actually accidentally dropped my cigar, so I had to put it out. But I had about this much left. It's not a big deal at all. The great smoke, what I gotta say is it has a fantastic evolution. What always manages to surprise me is the way it went from woody, then to earthy, and then to leathery. It just never stopped and it changed all the way through. First half was woody, second, excuse me, first third, second third was earthy, last third was very leathery. And they all really intense flavors. Absolute wonderful smoke and I gotta say, if you have not tried the Cascuba, you need to try the Cascuba because it is absolutely off the hook. I know I sound like I'm overhyping it, but it is a really great smoke. Draw is great, flavors are great, complexity is great, evolution is great. Everything is great. Just great. 10 out of 10, for real. But to top it off, what I want to say is this cigar has a lot of flavor, right? But it never has too much pepper, which I think is, is really, really, really nice. Because usually when you have this much flavor, it's accompanied by a lot of pepper. But this one is smooth like butter and very flavorful. Great combo. I love cigars. Blah, blah, blah.